You need to get down the steps, fill up the bottom first. If you are dressed well, if you're not dressed too well. Hi, what's your name? Hello, sir. I'm Danny Castro. Aguila Garcia. Hi. And we want to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. Come a little bit behind you. Pick this day. We wanted to pick this day because we wanted something to signify and we something that will help us remember for the rest of our lives. What about you, ma'am? Well, since so today is a day of love, we are here to demonstrate our love for each other. And I'm sure he'll remember when our anniversary is. I gotta, find, I gotta remember. <laughs> he better. <laughs> Um, I don't know, it was just, it seemed like the right day. It was the most romantic day I could think of. Who makes the decision? She did it. I did. Of course. Tell us about the meeting. Why you picked today? Why we picked today? Yeah. Um, it was the most yeah. romantic day. It's Valentine's. There's nothing more romantic than a good day on Valentine's. So, I think I wanted... Hey though, it's, it's different. Valentine's Day. I really wanted a romantic day. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Leticia. Leticia Got it. Brandon Gonzalez. Can I get your name? My name is Michael Gonzalez. Michael Gonzalez? Yes, sir. Okay, what's your name? My name is Elizabeth Hardy. Uh, tell me about you got married. Why are you getting married again? We've been together for like four years and we're going to have a baby. Chad and I. High school sweethearts. High school sweethearts. So there you go. How many uh, high school sweethearts? Yeah. Um, tell me about Valentine's Day. What does it mean? Okay. Doing it on Valentine's Day. Just being together. Being together with family, friends, the love, yeah. people that we share with. Thank you. for another uh, 15 minutes, 20. It's going to have to be done after midnight. It'll be the first minute of Valentine's Day. So this will be the happiest Valentine you've ever seen. When I ask the, the drives of the rooms, when I ask you a question, that you'll answer it, you'll promise. Okay, gotcha. And that did this like a choir. All the men, when I say, I will, I come down my hand, they will say, I will. Will you take this moment, blah, blah, blah? I will. I will. That's pretty good. It's not even one side. Now, women, you'll do the same thing on self. Practice, I will. I will. I will. Now, ladies, I will. That's much better. It's all much better than that. Yeah, right. Gentlemen, the same way when you talk, do something for you. She's gonna say I will, will I? Is that right, lady? I'm gonna also ask another question. This is so serious, this next question. But make sure that you answer with only one word. Yes is the only one that's acceptable in case you want to. They don't say yes to this real loud. You need to walk away from it right now. Here's the question. Are you going to spend the rest of your life together? Yes! That's much better, isn't that good? And you know, you've you answered the question there. Always forgive each other when you make a mistake. And you can make a bunch of them. Sometimes I think I make more than one a day. Sometimes I make a mistake before I even get up. <laughs> By thinking, what am I going to do today? So, uh, just forgive each other. And don't say I forgive it, but I won't forget it. Well, that means you didn't forgive it. So if you answer both those questions, yes, that you love her, and love him, and you're going to spend the rest of your life together, you've got it made. You've got it made. Because that means you can forgive 
And let me say this, if you can't forgive something, you better be careful because Almighty God, he said, we need to forgive each other. And he said, forgive us as we forgive those who trespass against us. So if you can't do that, which way are you going to go when the final bell rings? You got to forgive. It's a commandment, okay? But it's a beautiful thing, too, because when you forgive somebody, that means you love them, right? If you can't forgive them, you don't love them. It's that simple. So keep on forgiving each other and loving each other. I don't want anything like you want to get baptized together or you want to get uh, some, uh, maybe somebody in your family get married or you want to get somebody, uh, maybe somebody to do We're here to serve you. Don't ever say I don't have a church or a pastor. You got one. Dr. Langston Williams, he's a uh, or first man inside of 814 on the same side as H-E-P. So it's easy to find. The church is level up every Sunday at 11 o'clock. Thanks and hands every search is every 10 10 pop up or something else. It's in line, but free! That's the reason why this service tonight is free. Nobody's going to ask you for a nickel and you try to offer us something right there. Sometimes it's hard to get out of town. <laughs> but you can have a honeymoon maybe next week if you can't one this week. So, uh, I, I would go back to ask this. Are there any questions? You gave us this advice. I said, tell you what happens to it. This license, we will take it with us. We believe three days to finish signing all these licenses. If they're Bear County, we'll bring them back here in Bear County Courthouse and we'll give it to the seven to ten days to do it because there's a lot of people get married right now. So be patient. It takes a little time. They'll mail it to the same address. Okay. I guess Dr. Williams has that. But we often mail that too. We don't know what else to do with it. If you're here tonight, if you see Dr. Williams, maybe he can help you find it. Give me papel. On video. While we're out of time here, about 7 to 2 tonight, about 6 o'clock. Are you going to spend the rest of your life together? Yes! I believe everybody believes that. So. Keep forgiving, keep loving, and keep on serving God. Whatever God is to you, serve Him. We're glad. In the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. He made the planets in space. He made stars by the millions. Then He decorated planet Earth with mountains and seas and rivers of water. He made all the trees with all the beautiful foliage. He made all the flowers. Every kind of flower we have today was here a long time ago. He made the Ancient animals, he made the dinosaurs. Yes, the fish of the deep of all size and shape. Fish were so abundant you could scoop them up with your hand. It, it was abundantly blessed with life. And after all these things, God looked at it and said it was good. Everything that was made was made good by God. Almighty God, our creator, he also made the first man. The scriptures say that God said it's not good that we let man be here by himself. Let's make, well, what happened after that? Adam decided to take it into his own hands. The Bible says he went looking for some bride or somebody he could share his life with. He came back to the same place because he couldn't find anybody like unto himself. That's in the scriptures. And Adam, his face got a fake mistake. You should never think God has forgotten you. If you think that, you're wrong. He's always there. He came to his senses. He said, I'm going to ask God to help me. He prayed the first prayer ever prayed, asking God for a companion. Brothers and sisters, that's a very happy He fell into a deep sleep. It was a rough night. While he was asleep, God, and it says, 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 and he took out one of his ribs. And he rolled it up in some dust. And he blessed it. And when Adam woke, woke up the next morning, there she was, this beautiful lady. And she had some flowers in her hand. Really wonderful to be with each other. And just before the sun was getting ready to set, they knew they wanted to spend the rest of their life together. And God said, now they're ready. I'm going to bless them. I'm going to make them one in body, mind, and spirit. And he did. And that's the reason why all of us are here. Every one of us came to bless each other. Okay? Well, sometimes can't folks have trouble with that, don't they? Uh -huh. 
So Adam and Eve, they did have some children. And they, their children had children, and it, we're all here today because of that. That were mistakes made, some serious ones. You were running some things that are pretty tough to handle also. But as long as you hang on to each other with one hand and on to God's hand with the other, you're going to be okay. Matter of fact, you'll be blessed, which means happy. Happy that you're going to have a happy marriage if you follow that rule. Remember, God is with you. Yeah. I'd like to give some advice. Take our time to smell the roses. Most important, not many big things. We often think the house you live in, the car you drive, the clothes you wear, the food you eat, those are the big things. Those are not the big things. The big things are the little things. The way you look at each other on a daily basis. The way you share your lives together. The way you take care of your children when you have them, if you do. Some of you have children also already. Some of you have kids and you, some of you marry somebody with kids. Make sure these kids all are treated with love, no matter who causes them to be here in this world. Because they're your kids. If you marry somebody with kids, they're your kids now. You take care of them. Just like they are your own, because they are. Adopted children are loved just as much, or maybe more, than what those that you brought in this world. So remember, that's a holy thing. The most holy thing that can happen to you, and happy thing to happen to you. Let's do it on three. One, two, three. You are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? You're everything I need. You are so beautiful to me. Hey, y'all gotta give those guys something for that. Y'all gotta give them something for that. Okay, okay, uh, me, men, if you'll just repeat after me, and uh, then we'll do the, the ladies and we'll move forward with the vow. Okay, let's start out with I and state your name. Take thee, state her name, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance, I pledge thee my faith. Now ladies, if you will uh, repeat after me, I, and then state your name, take thee, and state his name to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, I pledge thee my faith. Now, if you have a ring, I'm going to ask you all to let's go ahead and let, let's let's take the rings, and if if, and if you all would just place the ring on the appropriate finger, and then I'm going to ask the men to repeat after me, and then the women will repeat after me. Now, let me say this while you're placing the rings on. The ring is a, it symbolizes, uh, it's a spiritual, it's, a, it's an outward and a visible sign, and sanctify thee in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, now men, please repeat after me, with this ring, with this this ring, ring I be wed. I be wed. I be wed. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit.
Women, would you please repeat after me with this ring? With this ring, I thee win. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, I'm going to give it back to Dr. Sullivan that he may do the honors and to have the final report. Toby Lopez. Perla Lopez. Well, I really love my newlywed and I love Valentine's Day and I think it's a good way to spin the Valentine's mood, I guess. <laughs> it's a great symbol of, of love. Valentine's, you think about love and that's what today is. It's about love and a commitment to one another. Go Rockets. special uh, in the city of San Antonio. Uh, it was the year 2014 and it was Valentine's Day the 14th and I don't know it just seemed like a beautiful uh, place to get married and uh, I'm just happy that we did it and came out. What about you, Bill? Same thing. Um, I, I thought it was romantic, 1201 and um, <laughs> Thank you. Look, he's giving you light. I know, it got Do you want to catch a range? Arturo Gutierrez and Alicia Cortez. <laughs> now Gutierrez? Now Gutierrez. And now Gutierrez. <laughs> Uh, tell a little bit about why you chose today. Uh, well, we've been together for eight years, and we just decided that Valentine's would be the most fitting day for Perfect us. Day. <laughs> what about you, Ram? I wanted to do this for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> this day in particular? Mm. <laughs> just, just tell me about the, the meaning of it. You know? Oh, well, for us, we've had a lot of Valentine's Days together we figured we might as well make this Valentine's Day super, super special and get married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was about that time that we definitely get married and <laughs> been putting it off for too long. <laughs>